welcome to the program Islam Insight, a very special series, essentially dedicated for our new Muslim brothers and sisters. How do we uh, commit ourselves to gain knowledge? Regarding Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. I'd like to know, is hijab co compulsory for women? Somebody told me that a Muslim is not allowed to have relationship with a non-Muslim. Knowledge reviles the spirit of Islam. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa salatu wa salam ala rasulihi al-kareem Wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'een A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim Bismillahi ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Rabbi shrah li sadri Wa yassir li amri Wa ahlul uqdatan min lisani Yafqahu qawli Dear brothers and sisters Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu Meaning may the peace, mercy and the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be upon all of you. Welcome to our program, Islam Insight, where we are taking an insightful journey by using the questions and answers format from the new Muslim brothers to understand the essentials of Islam and Iman in order to strengthen our belief and in order to revive our faith, in order to practice this beautiful way of life, Islam. In this session, inshallah, we shall deal with the questions pertaining to one of the most important pillars of Islam, of Iman. We will be dealing with some of the most important questions from the pillar of Iman and that is Iman in Malaika, belief in the angels. <laughs> so we may have the first question from you, brother. Assalamu alaikum, brother. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. Uh, the, questions, the first question is the basic question, so I believe, about the angels. Who are the angels? Right. Who are angels? Angels are one of the creations of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They are a special creation that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created. If you know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He has created mankind, He has created jinn, He has created the rest of the creation, and He has created angels as well. He has created mankind and jinns with the free will, meaning that we have the ability, the liberty, the choice, the freedom to choose good or bad. Similarly, the jinn, they have the ability, they have this freedom to choose what is right and what is wrong. And through this, we know there are good people, there are bad people. There are good Muslims, there are bad Muslims. Good Muslims are those who follow the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Bad Muslims are those who disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And as a result, we know that we become bad because we choose to be bad. We choose the wrong thing. As a result, we get into evil. We get into bad things. We get into wrong things. So angels, they are not like this. Angels, they have no liberty. They have no freedom. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created them with no freedom of choice. They are meant to worship only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So they are the angels, one of the creations of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yes, brother. Okay, brother, what are the angels made of and how do they look like? And right. can we see them? Sure. Uh, you see, the angels, they are... A different creation as we have mentioned and angels they are made of light they are made of light and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it, it also reflects that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most powerful one he can create whatever kind of creation that he wants Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created angels with light and 
how do they look like we the people we don't know how they how do they look like however prophet muhammad peace be upon him he saw angel gabriel in its original form and he gave the description that angel gabriel is huge his wings are huge allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he has created these angels very powerful and this creation also has a purpose to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we the humans we cannot see the angels of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they are not visible to us but as we know this is the belief in unseen the belief in the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that is angels who are unseen who we cannot see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he made this as one of the pillars of iman as one of the pillars of faith that we must believe in the creation of angels they are real they are existing they have been created with light and they have been created with a purpose it is an article of faith for us to believe in it even though with we don't see this creation but when allah said so then this must be true hope that answers your question